I know, right? Hey, everybody. What's going on, man, man? How much the snow is pretty much gone. You can get out digging again. The fields, even the woods. I was bottle digging today and yesterday. Yeah, don't say that too loud. Audra's in the chat. Oh, thought of Audra today. When I was it's digging, it, I, I was digging and I dig up one of them light bulbs that's completely intact. Yeah, well, she got a bottle this weekend. Yeah. Not even looking for her, but she got a bottle. You got clay marbles? A couple, couple clay marbles. Cool, man. Cool. So, a couple of uh, small announcements before I get to the bigger ones. So, uh, congratulations to uh, uh, Hollywood Joe. Got himself a one real over the weekend. Uh, dig, dig, oh, dig, nice. Digging with Charlie. Dennis, do you have Digger? Got himself a one real. Yeah, I saw that. And um, let's see what else. Oh, oh, oh. The highlight of the weekend, man was I got to watch FLX, John Donaldson, a.k.a. Felix. Felix? Felix. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. FLX, FLX, Felix. I, I get it. Either that or Felix the cat. Um, I got to watch him dig on his three-year journey. And dig his first KG on Friday morning. Cool. Right after the earthquake. <laughs> yeah, you guys had a little little earthquake action going. Did that affect oh, four, your, your digs at all? Or? Yeah, a little 4.7. And Scooter won 200 bucks at a scratch off yesterday. And Way to go, Scooter. Uh, beers are on him, but uh, not only did I get to watch him dig his first KG, but he turned around and dug two more on Sunday. Nice. So he basically got one for each year he was looking for one, all in one weekend. That was that was amazing, man. That's a way to do it, right there. As a highlight of my weekend, right there. I know, right? About damn time. But uh, it was, I mean, every, I'm, it was raining KG, KGs, dude. John got three. 
Brian, I, I don't know about Sunday. Brian got one on uh, Friday when we were out. Uh, John got one Friday when we were out. Uh, Kenny, um, Freebridge, Freebridge Metal Detecting got one. We were, I know, right? PA never disappoints, man. No wonder, no wonder the British lost the war. They were losing all their money in the battlefields. Oh shit! Right? She mm -hmm. But um, that was just. Uh, um, I, I'm still kind of beside myself on that one. It's it's so amazing to to watch, and I, I've been blessed to see people get first. You know, I got my, my I got you know blessed to see my buddy Brucey who spent twenty. Do you think three years is bad, John? Twenty years he was waiting for his first copper. Twenty, and I got to watch him dig his first copper, and I got to watch him dig his first real. Um, and I watched Audra dig her first Morgan. Um, it was just, you don't see that every day. You don't. you don't, it's been a good, it's been a good year for that. You know, um, I watched Teresa dig her first real at dig it dude, her first two real anyway. Um, man, it, it was crazy. Crazy man, it's been a crazy year first, and uh, it, it just never ceases to amaze me, man. Um, I get, I think I get more excited about watching other people did their first and, and me getting mine because, you know, I, 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 you know, I get out enough a couple times a week where, you know, eventually I expect, you know, to get over some things, um, but it was kind of, yeah, it was crazy, man. Yeah, you were a little excited, Teresa, I'd say. But um, it was just amazing, man, to see. Um, and then the event, you know, um, it was people were finding some pretty decent stuff at the event. Um, although Saturday the weather was god awful, it was just nasty, cold, rainy, windy. I mean, the gusts, some of the gusts had to be 30, 40 miles an hour. Easily, I mean, it was pretty bad, man. Blowing it sounds shit like a pretty nasty weather for you. And, and then, you know, they had so much rain there before. I mean, we're literally you're walking through like the grass fields, and there's just water everywhere. It was crazy, but uh, it was good to see everybody, man. Audrey, dude, and uh, Shelly, and Alan. Uh, Alan, Alan hit pretty good. Um, Dave Hart and his wife were there. That was awesome. Um, at FedEx, of course. Um, Hollywood Joe made his presence felt. Um, it was just great all the way around, even though the weather wasn't the greatest. Sunday was pretty nice, but uh, Friday was kind of eh, on the borderline. Skip was there. Um, that was awesome, but... Uh, What's up, David Alfonsetti? Um, Friday was kind of like on that edge where it was not nice, but it was tolerable. Uh, Saturday was just nasty. Um, so we were out there for a good four or five hours on Friday. So it was all right. Started to get a little, as we got there late at 3.30 in the afternoon or so, temperature started dropping. Clouds started getting more and more prevalent. No sunshine whatsoever. So, yep. And, and Bill and Squeak, they were there. That was awesome. Um, Cat Diggs and her father Eric were there. Uh, that was incredible to uh, see them and meet them. And uh, so, that being said, ain't no sunshine when she's good. That's right, Scooter. So, that being said, uh, it does an amazing job. I did get my donuts, Teresa, and of course I, I was the sponsor for the donuts. As you can see, I sponsor the donuts. JBP, what's going on? So Trey Shouter, he was there. What's going on, dude? Um, so we'll we'll get to our first announcement. Our first announcement is going to be that next Wednesday night. Same time, 7 o'clock as usual. It's not going to be 
an ordinary show. We are going to have not one, but two guests. Guest number one, the one, the only, FLX will be a guest. Guest number two, those of you at TikTok, if you have TikTok, you probably know who she is. Uh, she is on YouTube, I think more prevalent on TikTok. And she is right here in this chat. And we got to dig and meet her uh, this weekend. The one and only Cat Diggs is going to be on the show next Wednesday night. So COS was broadcast around the world, baby. So not one, but two guests next week. And uh, we'll talk about uh, whatever they want to talk about. Um, I'll be you know, digging. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Uh, probably a little bit about coming out swinging and, um, you know, the introduction a little bit of TikTok. And, uh, you know, even John. John got me going live on TikTok now. So um, it's, it's going to be oh. a lot of fun and open to questions. So get your questions ready. Um, just really, really great people, man. Uh, I got to meet, uh, we got to meet, um, Kat and her dad, Eric this weekend at come out swinging, um, hung out with them a little bit, had dinner, you know, hung out in the hotel lobby and, uh, just really good people. TikTok is not banned. It ain't going to be banned. <laughs> They said they said the same. If it thing. does, if it does, there'll be something else that'll pop up taking place. That. It's not even mm -hmm. that. They got six months for somebody to buy TikTok. Somebody is going to buy TikTok. There's already two companies right now in the mix to try to already do it. So it, it, it's not a big deal. Same thing with Twitter. Elon Musk stepped in and bought Twitter. Yeah, Joe's going to buy uh, TikTok. I heard Hollywood Joe. I, I, I haven't been up. I went on my TikTok probably a couple weeks ago just to check it out again, but I haven't been on since. I'm telling you, man. But um, yeah, they, they you know what they do that stuff. It, it's it's uh, as they used to say in Russia, it's just all propaganda. It's all it is. It's all it is. It's just bullshit. It's all bullshit. Um. But uh, that's going to be awesome. So I will get the thumbnail for that out early. Um, and uh, that way you guys, uh, Kat and John, you guys can share that on, um, on TikTok and maybe get some of your TikTok friends to, uh, you know, hop on to the other side. And uh, maybe they got some interesting questions for you. And they get to see you. You know, when we go live, they can't really see us when we go live. So... This will be an opportunity they could put a, a name to a face and a face to a name. And um, yeah, it's been a crazy day, a crazy week, man. We had earthquakes, eclipses. What next, man? What next? The state of Maine got overrun by people coming to look at the eclipse. I heard about that. I heard about a few places like that. I live. I live on one of the main ways to get to some some of the places that people were going and the path of totality. Path of totality. That was crazy going by here. Okay. Also, keep an eye out. I don't have 100% confirmation yet. Waiting for that. But keep an eye out. There may be a live stream next week with some dig it dude information. Um, so hopefully in the next day or two. Is that, is that be on Wednesday or would that be on Tuesday? What, next week? Yeah. No, no, no. Wednesday night. Oh, the norm. Okay. The Dig It Dude one, if when we do the Dig It Dude announcements and everything, that's going to be on Tuesday night. Okay. On uh, Audra's channel. But Tom Kangaree is here. Hi, Tom. <laughs> but uh, Tuesday, yes. Um, the next announcement. It is official. Um my affiliation, my uh, long affiliation um, with uh, Mr. Eric Lamort 
and the ultimate finds box has come to fruition. So we are officially a sponsor. And from here on out, effective immediately. If you go to the ultimate finds box.com and under the promo code, type in the word Buddha, B U D D H A. From here on out, this is not for a week. This is not for two weeks. This is permanent. You will get 15% off your order. Now, that's not to be combined. If he does a holiday thing where he does like 15 or 20% off, you can't combine it to one promo code, but um, which he doesn't do that often, you know, certain holidays, Christmas, Easter, stuff like that. But um, so, yeah, anything you order on that website, whether it be a fines box, coil stiffener, um, uh, bumper guard, um, shovel prop, it doesn't matter. You type in the word Buddha and you will get 15 percent off. Period. It doesn't matter what you order. It doesn't matter. It's <laughs> insane. For those of you not in the tri-state area and not over the age of 50, you probably won't know who that was. You just ordered a JHH marble stand. You should have waited. Waited. <laughs> but that's not all. But that's order not now and you'll get a sham wow for free. Exactly. Sham wow. And, and possibly... A set of Ginsu knives. Oh, yeah. Remember the Ginsus? Yeah. yeah I know, I mean, right? They had infomercials on those for a long time. There, was, there were infomercials on that before there were infomercials. That was that was still back in the time when after like 12 o'clock at night, all you heard on the TV was boo with the lines going down. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, you got a discount? Oh, you got People you got the GHH discount. The younger folks probably don't remember the TV wasn't 24 hours a day when we were growing up. It was not 24 hours a day. It went to about midnight. And that was it. Remember, you get up in the morning, you got to wait for the national anthem to play before anything would start. Yep. I'm, I'm Shannon is absolutely right. That shovel prop for your shovel is amazing, especially on a day where it's windy. Where you set your you set your machine up and just lean it up against your shovel, and all of a sudden it goes zoop, right off the ground. Boom, sham! Wow, exactly right. But uh, so yeah, fifteen percent off promo code Buddha B U D D H A, and that's permanent from here on out. Um, probably as we speak, my logo will be on the website. Uh, oh yeah, there you go. My logo will be on the website, and uh, you know you guys are good to go, man. We're all about trying to save y'all some money, man. All about trying to save you some money, but um, that's awesome. Um, so what about spaz? Spaz. Um, so Richie, what do you got going on, man? Tell me what you got going on. What you got coming well, up? We got a new permission. Um, it's a pretty good sized dump. We got in it today for the first time, and there's some old stuff, but it looks like it's been picked over pretty good. But you know, nothing never get it all. Hunted. You know that. Yeah. So today I got a few good bottles. Just the first time we've hit it, so we don't yeah, know what spots the hot spot or what have you. But we, you got, we the, have bottles, you got the bottles right there. Nope, I, they're out. They're not cleaned yet. I got you. I was going to say, get yeah. Audra all excited. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Audra, it's going to be 70s all week next week. Cough, cough. So we, uh, just saying. We saw the dump and we figured out who owned the land and it's like a sewage treatment plant nearby. So we got proper permission from them. So there was a guy who stopped and was giving us the old stare down. So we was like, we had permission. Well, you know, they, you know, nothing's ever out dug, bro. Yeah. Nothing is ever out dug. I mean, if I had a nickel for every time somebody said, don't go, somebody said, oh, you know what, don't go there. I think it's been 
pounded. Okay. There was some stuff right on top of the ground that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't look for marbles, only for the simple fact that Richie has pretty much most of mine. <laughs> and any I got left, I'm saving those for a rainy day or something. I don't know. But when, um, you, when you dig it for marbles, and some of them will drop right there, the obvious, and other ones, I mean, they'll it, it, it camouflage themselves pretty good. So. Yeah. Yep. But uh, man, I'll tell you, for for not having great weather this weekend and not being the the greatest, you know, circumstances, Robert, of course, Rob, Mr. Robert Tyson, the salt in the swing. Did his uh, his usual killer job putting that event together. Um, the seeded hunt was a much bigger area than normal. That was that was really cool. Um, and uh, you know, so people weren't on top of each other. Uh, the prizes were pretty cool. Did somebody say marbles? Marbles. Marbles. Uh, I have my one marble, and I'm happy with that. I'm perfectly happy with that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he should have given away. He should. He should have had tokens in the ground for uh, eclipse. The eclipse glasses. People could have won, or maybe an earth earthquake uh, survival kit or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Yankees are. I know the Yankees are playing the Marlins. Stop popping up on my screen. God damn it! But um. You got what do you got coming out this weekend? You got uh premieres or you guys streaming? Got premieres. La last week we went live because I, I didn't have anything, and Dennis has a few videos saved. So he's got far, more but, now. Yeah, he's got more now, and I've got some stuff going on. So I'm gonna premiere 715. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I don't know who else. We've had a pretty good lineup the last three, four weeks. So well, you guys had what Mason Burke. Yeah, we have um, outdoors with Aaron. Sometimes. Gotcha. Um, the other one is Nick. The other one is Richie's gone. Yeah. There he is. Yeah. But uh, um, so who do you got this week? Okay, Dennis put it in here. We got New England PDA, Mason Murr. The, this week so far. And then it'd be Dennis and myself. So that's four of us. Gotcha. Eh, that's not a bad lineup. No. That's a, that's a good half an hour worth of videos right there. Now we've been going, uh, we've been starting right around six when we have this many. Gotcha. And yours, you still doing yours at 715? Yeah, I do mine at 715. All right. That's cool. So, what else we got? Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. If anybody's got the balls, we'll see. We'll see if anybody has the uh, the balls. The balls. So, anybody who wants to pop up and just say hello, tell us what's going on, what you got going on, what you got coming up. You're more than welcome. There's the link right there. Um, I think Audra's laughing because I said balls. <laughs> Either uh, that, she's laughing because I held up the two clay marbles when you said that. That's possible too. Yeah. Um, so anybody who wants to pop up just to say hi, um, uh, you got something coming up, you got an event coming up, you got a premiere coming up, uh, anything, you're more than welcome to pop up. And uh, shoot the shit with us. Um, oh, yeah. I, did, I didn't announce it. Oh, I got two more announcements. Next week. Next week. Let me grab this real quick so I can show everybody. Real quick. You know what to do, Rich. Are you not entertained? <laughs> well, in case everyone doesn't follow me on Facebook, I got a book coming out. And it's going to be pretty funny it's it's like a fantasy superhero humorous book scooter can tell you about it he was one of my beta readers and uh 
get a few more beta readers reading it right now, and then we'll make some changes and it'll be off to the editor. It might be out, I'm guessing, sometime in May. That's awesome. And how's the, the books coming out in May? I, I'm, I'm hoping. Beta readers are reading and giving me feedback, and I'm making changes as I need to. Then it'll be, I'll send the whole thing off to an editor. And they'll have it for about a week, and hopefully, it, when I get it back, it will be ready to go, and I'll be able to list it on Amazon. No squatches in this book. No squatches in this book. There's a toothless vampire, a furless werewolf, a mime with Tourette's, um, a dumpster diving. I've been minimalist porter. And that's that's on Amazon, and, correct? It's gonna be. Yeah. A witch who can't perform magic and they, they got a group counselor who's disgruntled. So a group counselor that's disgruntled. I believe in the real yeah. world we call that a boss. Yeah. So all right. So there's also there's also a headless horseman turned oh, into a hair stylist. A little sleepy a little sleepy hollow action. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, in addition, next week to the one and only FLX and Cat Diggs being on the stream, anybody who shows up to that stream will have an opportunity to win this. Now, if you can see that, can anybody see? Can you guys see that? Can you see it, Rich? Yeah, it's a Morgan. It's a Morgan, baby. Nice, big, chunky Morgan dollar. 1885, I believe. 1885. Dude looks nice. like me. Silver. Big, chunky silver. This will be a giveaway next week. On that stream with FLX and Cat Diggs. Uh, Scooter was in second grade. I think it was in third grade. Yes. Big, shiny, chunky, heavy. I was going to keep this for myself, actually. I won this at Come Out Swinging and Brass of the Grass. And I said, you know what? You know what? It's all about giving, man. It's all about giving back. I want one, I'll find one and dig it. But uh, so yeah, man. So not only do we have awesome guests, we're gonna have awesome giveaway. That might not be the only giveaway. There might be more. And that's not all. We have more. Whoa, we got more. We got more. Shannon and Phil, I would trade he would trade his win for that coin. What did Ian win, man? Tom, PA Diggy dudes here. What did what did Ian win? What did I miss? What did Ian win? Anybody know what Ian won? Nobody knows what Ian won. We don't. I don't know what he's trading. What he would be trading for this Morgan, but uh, he won the B. Oh, oh, that is that the um, was that the uh, March Madness one? The basketball, college basketball. Yes, we have more. Just pay shab bread processing and shipping. Oh, that's what I thought. The NCA board. Cool, man. I don't know if you want two hundred. I don't know if I trade two hundred for this particular Morgan. Mm -hmm. It's not a key date, but supplies are limited. Supplies are very limited. We don't. I don't have Morgans coming out of my ass. But um, yeah, gotta send him some coinage. But um. Wow, man. So there will be a giveaway tonight. And we will give away tonight. A Rikers box. Nice big one. Nice. Too. Nice. Never nice. have enough of those. Never have enough of these. I picked up a few of these this weekend. So I bought one extra looks, one to give away. And it looks like a good size, too. It is. I think this is like a, it's like an eight by thirteen or something like that. Really nice, good size. 
Cat says, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. I need one. So, yeah, we're going to give this away tonight, man. And along it's with not, it, it's along, not cheap either. No, they're not. Well, I got a good deal. But um, along with that, of course, there'll be a sticker pack along to go with it. Um, I see this, nobody has enough balls to come up and say hello or tell us what's going on, any event you went to. Um, Must be nothing going on. Did you go blind looking at is it big enough for all the can slaw? <laughs> it might be if you step on it first. Cat needs one for all the copper she's going to find this year. Yay, yes. I love to hear it. Because as, as you all may know, some of you may not know, I love coppers. I love coppers. I love coppers is probably, probably more than I love my silvers. Some of my mm. silvers anyway. But yeah, that's my that's my jam, man. Coppers are my jam. Love them, love them. Toasted, not toasted, it don't matter. There's nothing like seeing that green and round, baby. Nothing like it. I I like coins, but I'm a relics and marbles guy now. I well, I used to not really care too much about the relics and all that stuff. I've they've grown on me. You know the relics. I do enjoy finding the relics and buttons and buckles and and stuff like that um i will tell you the one thing that that you know over the last two three years um i did have coppers coming to my house on friday um i, I will tell you the one thing that's kind of i don't want to say gotten on my nerves but how many d buckles can you keep you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, the musket balls and stuff like that don't take out, don't take up a lot of space. But I got D buckles from this size to this size. I have, I don't know how many more D buckles I can keep. I was just saying, I, 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 just, I don't know how many you can keep. Yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. So, but relics have grown on me, especially buttons. I think buttons have really grown on me. Um, Especially, you know, um, you know, any of them that got some, some fancy uh, or some gold gill or something like that. They, they've kind of grown on me. I've got some pretty cool buttons. Um, the deep buckles, though, man. I don't know. It's tough to get excited after you've done so many of them. The deep buckles for me now, the deep buckles are getting to the point where they they hold as much weight with me as chicken blinders. I mean, if or, it's the, or I mean, plaid. Yeah, I mean, I dig one if it's the only thing I found, or if it's the first thing I found. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm in the right place, you know. But I, I just, I just, I just can't deal with the D buckles anymore, you know. Unless they, unless you know, I mean, I, I no, I no, no, no. There's no D buckle I've ever found where I went, ooh, ooh, you know. Harmonica reads are all right, cool. Um, organ reads are cool because you don't find them all the time. But you, if you get I find a, lots, lots of bells, but I still get excited every time I find a if, bell. If you get it, oh, bells, that's a whole other story because bells yeah. have a use. What are you going to do with a debuckle? What are you going to do with a debuckle? Put it in a jar. That, that's all. It's just going <laughs> to sit in the jar. It, it's it's going to sit in the jar like, you know, you know, like the kidney you had removed and you want to keep it. So you put it in the formaldehyde and put it in a jar but um yeah i can't deal with the debuckles anymore man bells are bells don't suck dude bells do not suck but um yeah put it in a d-bag yes <laughs> <laughs> yes 175 bells jesus christ I have a big Folgers coffee thing just filled with D buckles, all different sizes. And they're all brass. What's that? Are they brass? Yeah, all of them? Most of them brass, yeah. But every time I see that can, I forget what's in it and I open up the lid. I just look at it and go, oh shit. Close it back up. And uh, Alec donates his balls, uh, bells, sorry. 
Yeah, Teresa says, Teresa says she likes the jar. It's an easy dig, Atlas easy dig, easy seal jar. You know, you know what you do, Richie? What? Bury, bury, the, it? Whole, bury the whole jar out <laughs> in the field somewhere. Yeah. So somebody, somebody, somebody comes across it metal detecting and like, ooh, 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 big signal, <laughs> big signal. You know what I should do with it is mail it to you. No, so no. You can bury it. No. A, a diggy dude and somebody can dig a jar full of debuggles. Yeah, and I have somebody coming at me with their shovel. <laughs> is this a joke? You think this is funny? Debuckles? Really? I know how you feel about debuckles. Uh, some of the jingle bells can be tom back, yes. Um, cordal bells don't suck. I like finding cordal bells. Those, those, because you know what? You don't really find enough of them, and ninety percent of the time you find them, they're in pieces anyway, or you find a piece of it. Mm -hmm. So, yes, under the sticker bushes, I am notorious for for planting finds under sticker bushes. Just ask the Bortners. <laughs> Yeah, baby, dingy dingy, dingy dingy. It's I won't dingy dingy because there's a little piece missing. Yeah, I, yeah. That's a that's a good size one, man. And I think Phil wore shorts that day that I planted. Uh, I planted some of this stuff under the sticker bush sticker bushes for the seeded hunt. So he might have uh, he might have had some scratched up legs <laughs> uh, that weekend, but. Uh, Yes, so we everybody anybody that has already donated uh, to Dig It Dude uh, on behalf of myself and Audra and Shelly and Dawn, we want to say thank you. Um, anybody that wants to donate anything for Dig It Dude, no problem. We appreciate it. You can contact uh, either myself, uh, Audra, or Shelly, um, and we will be glad to take whatever you have and whatever you want to donate. It'll either go into the ground or it'll be a raffle or something. So, um, and for those of you that were at Dig It Dude last year and saw the amazing prize table we had, um, we are definitely looking to top that this year. And it was, it was, yes, we will have a supporter giveaway as well as we did last time. But uh, if you guys remember that giveaway table, we gave away 12 metal detectors. And I don't know if we're going to reach that this year with 12. We'll see. Um, but there was amazing. There was medieval, medieval coins, medieval relics that Clint uh, Stan's lad sent over from England. Um I think actually Bill and Squeak won one of those little Rikers Bach with some of it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be amazing. So yeah, anybody that wants to donate, uh, just contact myself or Audrey or Shelly and uh, we will be glad to take whatever it is off your hands. Richie, Rich, <laughs> Dave needs a new detector. <laughs> Richie donated last year a bunch of stuff, silver, yeah. uh, relics, and a gold coin, which we got three gold coins already this year for Dig It Dude. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, Joel, drum and detect, won Joel your did win it, yeah. Joel won your gold coin. It was It's a one-of-a-kind coin, too. It was made from the recycling of gold from, like, computer circuit boards. Somebody all right. took all the gold from, from those and, and turned it into a coin. Gold is gold is gold, dude. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gold is gold. It's worth the same. And that's personal, though. So that's make, that makes that even better. Yeah. That wasn't minted by, you know, um, Denver or San Francisco or Philly or West Point or Carson City or any of those. I was that was minted by an individual. That's really cool. There's a bottle opener when you need one. There she is. So gold is on the uptick. 
I'm waiting for silver to explode. I'm waiting for that. There is a silver shortage, but I guess it's not to the point where the price is going to go like that. Because I've been stocking up on that. So last time I looked, it was twenty five, twenty six dollars. I like that. Yeah, silver. I'm, it reaches fifty. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. If it reaches fifty, gold is is very good. You buy silver or gold, you're always going to get a return on your investment. Plain and simple. Because the, let's face it, the the regular money, the currency, the dollar ain't worth shit anymore. It's not. It's not worth. It, it costs them seven cents to make a penny, dude. <laughs> Where's the math there? <laughs> seven cents to make a penny. Why don't they just? Make- you find anything any cheaper than that zinc that they use? Why don't they just uh why don't they just make a seven cent piece? You could do like Canada, just do away with a penny. Well, I we were supposed to do that from what I understood in twenty twenty three. You saw how that worked out, right? Yeah, that worked out really well. Um let's see, what else is going on, man? What else went on? I'm trying to think here. Um, we had a bunch of new people that we had never met come to come out swinging besides like Kat and her dad. Um, and a lot of the old, older people, not older people. Let me, let me not say older. Um, the we're, usual, we're all older, Bobby. The usual suspects. We had Mr. Alan Hedricks there. We had his dad, Mr. Jeff Hedricks was there. Um, all, it was pretty cool. Um, Moses was there. Moses? Yeah, Moses. Yeah, our buddy Nathan, who's uh, one of the volunteers. Um, I think he just had surgery fairly recently, so he had this big kind of – it's supposed to be like a walking stick, but it was taller than he was. It was more like a staff. Yeah. So – and he's got the, you know, the gray beard, so I call them Moses. I'm like, damn, you parted the Red Sea, but you can't make this shitty weather go away. Did he have tablets with the uh, Ten Commandments on them or – um, I don't believe they were the Ten Commandments. Yeah, he broke his foot. I don't. I don't believe they were Ten Commandments, but at least I believe it was more of a, a list of who was there, and who paid, and all that. So kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing. So, um, let's see what else. What else? Audra, do you have a do you have a video coming out? Toys Day. If you're still here, I don't know if she's got a video coming out this Thursday. I'm waiting for confirmation, yay or nay. Yes, she yeah. does. She's got a video coming out Thursday. Uh, usually, it's 30 30, to- 30, unless she yeah. changes the time. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Yes. Yeah. So, next Thursday at 6 30 p.m. You can catch Audra, the Jersey History Hunters premiere uh, video. Uh, I don't know what this one is about. Uh, I'm sure if she hasn't posted that already, she will. And it will give you an idea. Oh, it's, uh, I, should, I don't know if it's from CO, uh, come out swinging. I don't know if it's from before that. Um, but we'll just have to show up and see for ourselves. Shannon wants to know if it's about the Welfare Hotel. How was the Welfare Hotel? Um, Well, the same elevator that was broken in November is still broken. Um, I heard there was a few people that had a problem getting hot water. Um, I didn't personally have any issues. Um, She already posted a COS video. Yeah, it was really mellow. It was kind of mellow. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I mean, it's it's the same as it was, for, you know, no no issues, no major issues. Um, uh, we didn't have any sh- shenanigans like usual, like Shelly pushing the luggage cart with Audra on it with the luggage and, you know, through the lobby and all that stuff. Uh, so nothing crazy like that. Those crazy chicks, man. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did that. They did that. Oh my god, that was about two years ago. I think it was. Shelly and Don pushing a, a a luggage car full of luggage, and Audra's on with the luggage. She's small, so she fits on there with the luggage. All the people we usually have a birthday cake for did not, which is usually Dawn and Royal, Royal Piers. They did not come to this one. So we didn't have any birthday cake like we usually do. Um, uh, let's see what else happened. Um, John and Brian had, uh, yeah, we, we chased the hockey players out of the lobby. Um, John and Brian, I think, Brought about seventy-four different types of beer with them. I think Cat. I think Cat had a sample of like eighteen or nineteen of them. I think something like that. You gotta find the right one. Yeah, you know, yeah, you gotta taste them until you find the right one, you know. But um, and then Brian's son Ben didn't make this one, so that was a bummer. But maybe on the next one, maybe on the next one. But uh. Yeah, we had a bunch of rowdy hockey players the first night, Friday night. Um, I think it's like a men's league or something because I saw people from age like 20-something up to like probably 50. Um, so it's probably some kind of men's league that they travel around and stuff like that. And Yeah, they probably had some type of a tournament, tournament or something. Yeah. yeah, They were in the lobby banging hockey sticks on the tables. and Yeah, it was a little <laughs> obnoxious. It was a little obnoxious. That's okay. I think one or two come out swingers ago, there was like a cheerleader tournament. So we had a bunch of freaking like 13-year-olds, 13-year-old girls running around the hotel. Doing gymnastics and stuff. Something like that. Cheerleading, gymnastics. I don't remember what it was. But um, so let me recap before we do this giveaway. Next Wednesday night. FLX, Mr. John Donaldson, a.k.a. Yeah, I should have got my shovel out. Um, a.k.a. Felix and Cat Diggs, which you can catch her on TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook, will be our special guest. We will grill them. We will grill them. You're welcome to ask questions. And we will give away... In 1885, Mogan, a Mogan, beautiful, big, chunky silver. Also, don't forget, from here on out, immediately, any order you place on the ultimatefinds.com, type in the word Buddha, B-U-D-D-H-A, in the promo code, and you will get 15% off your total order. And there's no act now, and you'll get a bargain. no second one for free. <laughs> Stay safe or screw. No sham wow. No sham wow. Uh, no miracle mop. There's none of that shit. You don't get anything with it. Um, no Ginsu knives. No supplies. Are, supplies are not limited. No, and colors not, are supplies not limited are either. Yeah, supplies are definitely not limited. Oh, he's got a pretty good supply. He can make the order too. Oh, he does make the order. So, if you wanted a marble, like a marble, like a mar- one of the marble stands with your channel name on it, he can do that, man. He can do it. Scott says, just put the Morgan aside with a sticky note, save for scooter. Save for scooter. Scooter, how much is enough? Scooters, scooters won. I think Scooter's gotten like, like eight silver coins between Audra Stream and. Does he have one of those though? He does not. Yeah. He does not. He does not. Show me that again. That is a fine, fine. Does it makes the beer taste better? Doesn't it? Oh, it does. Absolutely. Hell yeah, it does. JVPs are. You order that marble stand. You can put JBP. He can put JBP on it. He can put your channel, your channel name, whatever you want on it, right at the top. He won. 
A vial of gold last night on a live stream. Shocking. I just don't watch enough, and I don't enter. I don't do an you do a duck race, so Scooter won't win. That's funny shit. <laughs> That's funny. You know what we should do? You know what we should do? What? This would be really funny. What if we do we have the guests, right? So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Shannon Bortner answer this question. So we we have uh oh. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> so we have the guests, right? Yeah, I know, right? Scooter and Jeff Hedrick cannot play. So we have the guests on, right? And we do Mad Libs and have them flip-flop answering, filling in the blanks. Oh, cool. What do you think? What do you think, Q? Because I know, I know Q loves when we do Mad Libs. That would be hilarious. We we may we may have to do that, man. We may have to do that. Yeah, it would yeah, put the children away. Put the children away. There's two things yeah. two things you can count on. If I do mad loves mad lives with these people, it is not gonna be PG thirteen. And the other thing you can count on, if somebody in the community does something stupid. I will say something. It's just the way it is. Sorry. I don't hold back. Right? Right, Rich? We tell yep. it like it is here. There's no, you want candy coated? Go buy you some Skittles. We don't candy coat shit around here. All right. For sure. We don't candy coat a damn thing. Mad loves? I, I, don't, I don't know. I might have. Mad loves. I might have. All right, so let's see. Hmm. All right, let's see. All right. Since she's new to the chat, oh, oh, you don't have to do anything, Kat. I, I take care of the rest. You just gotta, you just gotta fill in the blank. So, Kat, since you are new and you will be a guest next week, we're gonna use a keyword for the giveaway. Cat, give me a keyword. Cat has not seen our Mad Libs stream. Nerds gummy clusters? The hell is that? Never heard of you ever heard of nerds gummy clusters? I've heard of nerds. I've heard of nerds. I've heard of gummies. I've never heard of nerd gummy clusters. Yeah. Never know what they might come up with nowadays. That's true. That's true. All right. Come on, cat. Give me a keyword. Any word you choose. Give me a keyword. That's the keyword we're going to use for this giveaway. Can be anything. Junk. There we go. Junk is the keyword. Hold up. Let me just type. Hold up. Let me just type that in real quick. Don't mess with my junk. All right. So type the word junk in the chat for your chance to win a Rikers box with a sticker pack. Let me just get some stickers out of here real quick. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get one of those. Yeah, we'll do one of those. Yeah, I've been giving one of these away in a long time. We'll give one of those away. And we'll do one of those. And we'll do one of those. 
hold up. <laughs> digging deep, Bobby. What? You're digging deep into the box. I got yeah, I got a big box, man. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> Woo! Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we'll throw that in. We'll throw that in. Yeah, we'll throw that in. What the hell is that? I need to get some made up. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay, I think we're cool. All right. Junk, more junk, junk in the trunk, all that good stuff. All right, let's see where we're at here. All right, I'll give you guys 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds to type the word junk in. Jeff, if you're lurking, type the word junk in. I don't see his name. Lots of junk. So we'll take that, put that to the side. Cat says, give me the Rikers box. Give me the Rikers box. I need it. Come to mama. All right. Let's see here. All right, here we go. Let me share the screen real quick. Booyah. Boom. And boom. And we are going to draw. Boom. There she goes. Mr. Mike. Mike. Mint has won. Black one, black one, man. Mike, you're here. He had to be here if he typed in junk. Mike, 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 Mike. There he is. He left. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. Send me your info on uh, Facebook Messenger. I know Audrey was that close, that close. I thought it stopped on her, and then it went tick. Mike won the jump. So send me your information. I will get this out to you. And congratulations. You can now put some of your wonderful coins and relics and keep them safe in this fine, fine Rutgers, Rutgers box. And Richie, as always, it was always a pleasure. And my, my pleasure for the rest of you all. We will see you next Wednesday night as John, Mr. John Donaldson, FLX, and Cat Diggs will be our guests. And it'll be open for questions. And you get to find out a little bit more about them because we will ask them questions. And uh, if you're getting out this week, Find something good. If you ain't swinging, you ain't finding nothing. You got to get out and swing, man. Slow and low. And everybody had a good week. Have a great week. And we'll see you guys possibly next Tuesday night. Audrey will confirm that and put out the thumbnail if that's the case. If not, Wednesday night, we'll see you guys at 7. And then the next night, 6.30, Audrey Dude, premiere video on YouTube. Look for the thumbnail. Peace, people. Night, everyone.